Welcome back guys! Creeping closer to Christmas! I don't know when I'm putting this video out. I really do apologise for the gap in between these. If you're following them um, as they um, are uploaded onto YouTube, it's an absolute pain in the behind to edit to keep it interesting. Because, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you end up asking and you're like, oh, I didn't really need to ask that. That was way boring and unnecessary. <laughs> um, I'll try my best. So, we left off last time we made the decision to reroute the power to Edgewater um, and I think I made clear why I did that mostly because it's a whole town so maybe we've done the right thing anyway because we can convince the deserters to go back and we can if we convince Adelaide to go back maybe she can shift the tide in everybody else's favor is that the oh that's the power regulator that we actually came to get in the first place Ooh. Well, I know you're having a bad day, but I just leveled up. Ah, oh. Right, so that also means we have some skill points to spend. So I may or may not show you me doing that, because it does take up time. So let me just do that quickly, and you'll see whether or not I bothered to show you. <laughs> if I haven't. Sorry! Now, we have two options. We can speak to the deserters and try and convince them to go. Or the other option we have, according to our journal, is to remove Reed from Edgewater. Now, she will refuse to move back while he's still there. But Adelaide's ref Adelaide refuses to return to Edgewater unless Reed is out of the place. Her people will follow her back to town if she returns. So I don't know what that means. Remove him could mean kill him it could mean try and persuade him do we get that option if we aren't high enough because some things are just locked out because our skill level's not high enough i do wonder about that um you'll see a little bit of what goes on with grace and thomas there must be a few little side quests to do this um i'll cut out anything that's boring or unnecessary and then when we decide that's worked or it hasn't we can then make a decision on this because it's adelaide we need I think more than anything so let's go what about Gracie Gracie marauders can't see us in the dark wild canids on the other hand uh just try you the matter's been weighing on me I'm staying put until I know what's become of Zoe I don't oh, yeah. want that question that haunting her. me all the way back to the cannery. So, and she was another one we spoke to outside of um, recording, and she wants us to find her friend Zoe. Let's just see if there's any more information about her, though. You just never know. I always feel like I rush through these things, and then I miss a crucial bit of information. I'll tell you what I can. Maybe the Marauders took her away? Could be. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skill as far as I could tell. Uh, <laughs> any chance? I love the dialogue. Any chance you could point me somewhere specific and not just out there? <laughs> Marauder gang just moved into the districts a little ways east. Their numbers are growing. Gotta east. come from somewhere. Okay, so we need to go east of the camp. How well do you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. <laughs> you seem so personable. Can't imagine how you didn't get on with that. What is it? Well, let's, let's get off the subject. Oh, here you are. Hello. Hiding behind Pavati. Pavati, I'm talking to him. Don't see why Thomas can't just get the generator up and running. Something I can help you with? Right. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. I like your hair. Uh, back to the subject. Um, was she acting strange? I can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. 
She's, oh, does that mean notes? Are we going to have to find more? I hate notes. Um, what happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were going to watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. Okay. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. What was the surprise? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest masked marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Everything's around corporate, corporate like mass marketeer. <laughs> the mass marketeer is gonna get you. Okay, I think that'll do. Right, so we need to go on a hunt for Zoe and this journal for him, this manual. And in the meantime, while we're getting some XP and some guns, we can make a decision on whether or not we go and deal with Reed and whatever the hell that means. Right, what we got here? So this is... I suppose this is east of where we came from, so this might be where Zoe's held up. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. We got this! Ah, crap. Oh, really? Right now, I don't need it. You're in the way. Seriously. Right, I'm encumbered now. The game chose to tell me. Uh, no encore. Oh, <laughs> she must have got him. Yeah, the game chose... Uh, up in my face. <laughs> the game chose to tell me just as I was getting mined, which is great. So you can't pick him up again. Wow, you crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach <laughs> me your ways. Um, you're, you can sound confused or possibly unscrewed. <laughs> you're Zoe, your people are looking for you. What, you mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. You and your lot love a purple rinse. I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Yeah, see, look, it's locked. Go back to camp. <laughs> not that I would choose that one anywhere. I'd rather use Persuade. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. Uh, Stefan's planning a surprise. Yeah, how somebody who didn't care about you wouldn't do that. Wait, you're telling me he's got a copy of the Mass Marketeer? Why didn't you say so? I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Cool. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. Honey, she's already pissed with me, don't worry. Right, let's see if Zoe returning does us any favours. I'm not in the lightest of humours right now. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Ooh, XP. The matter's been weighing on me. 
Zoe came back, but I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? We're the closest thing Adelaide's got to a family. We go back to Edgewater, she's gonna feel betrayed. I'm, I'm, uh, I know this is probably gonna hurt me further down the line because I bet we need our reputation with Spacer's Choice, but I don't like that. I don't like Reed being in charge. Adelaide may be a crazy old lady who grinds dead people, but she's not a slave driver like Reed. Sure, suit yourself. I'll be here. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Get out, Raid. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Here's the eyebrow again. Let's, let's look at number one. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes, but I have done my best for this town. Oh, if your best is not good enough. Your town's a mess, Reed. <laughs> you let Adelaide's son die. Her son got sick with plague a couple years back. Company never gave us enough medication to treat the whole town. So I had to choose, you see. Adelaide's child or someone else's. She's never forgiven me. I don't expect she ever will. Did she know that? It's not your place to make that decision. But I did. I made the decision. I am responsible for it. And I must shoulder the burden. I am a spacer's choice man. My father was a spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer. But it is my home. Well, I tried. Attack. <laughs> At least people aren't getting sick with plague. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. A few people ever eaten an actual vegetable. You are disparaging our parent company and it is not appreciated. We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here and only Saltuna. I'm pretty sure it's your food that's making you sick. You need Adelaide's garden. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us, so the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. Ah. Adelaide found a way to grow food. You'll come back if you step down. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops <laughs> in barren soil? This is going to be creepy. Oh, so we could lie. Look, Reed, all I know is that it involves some really complicated math. <laughs> I'm not going to tell him. I'm going to lie. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her Anyone way. does. <laughs> My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. You won't last a day outside the walls. I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. <laughs> I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. Okay, so that's harsh. By convincing him to leave. <laughs> He's not even staying. Well, she said, I won't stay in those own four walls if you're there. So it's a case of he dies or she dies. There's no true winner there, is there? Look at that. The snakes come back. Oh, shut up. Done you a favour. 
I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. Ooh, nice XP. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Um... Edgewater's better off with you running the place. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Well... That's that then, I suppose. The thing is... She's the best chance of survival in terms of plague as well. Had Reed stayed in charge, people would have just carried on dying. Because they're just eating saltuna. No vegetables. It's like the whole... I don't know if anybody knows about it, but... If you ever watch QI... If you can watch QI... Um... Apparently, some people were dying here. Poachers were dying because they were only eating rabbit. No vegetables. And you weren't getting any of the nutrients you needed. Well, I feel a bit better now. If nothing more, we've completed the quest. Let's go. Titus Androgicus. Titus. Sorry. Such a child. Uh. Oh. Stop doing that. Is this your ship? Jesus oh Christ. my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. I'm the Indeed. only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but... Every time I think of going back, I get this... Sinking feeling. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know no. my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Yay! Let's do it. Yes! I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret Friend. this, ma'am. Captain. I can call you Captain now. I got a captain. <laughs> right, let's go speak captain, to Ada. I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. What can I do for you, Captain? I have a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Sarcastic bitch. I love you. Uh, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Off we trot. <laughs> so weird. Right, I'm going to fry myself now. Nice. <laughs> oh, do you like my, my plasma? What's I call it? I didn't get it out. She did. He's always keen. Done it, Nana. No, no. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. 
This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> Crash. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ugh. This better be quick. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. <laughs> How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage, perfectly Ooh. normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. <laughs> Get to the point, Phineas. Uh, I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me. Help us find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Why do I need a nav key? Um... Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys called Kelly. Gotcha. Um, I don't care about that. We'll just go fine. I'll go have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. You want to explain what a Holographic Shroud is? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The Shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First-generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used Tonight? in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Gotcha. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Nice. Oh, we're in orbit. Of course we are. Isn't that cool? I want to go to space, man. Right. Well, I think you know what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to leave you hanging, I'm afraid. Um, 
brilliant. So now we are up and running. We can fly the ship. We can get to places and we can do more questing. Um, and help Phineas free the colonists. I don't really care if my reputation with the board has been damaged. Because apparently that's who we're fighting. So whatever. It might not do me much in terms of persuading and lies etc. later down the line. But it's honestly... I think just the tutorial planet. I don't think it's the be all and end all. I think as we go, that will make a big difference to how the ending occurs. So we'll see how we go. I feel better about my choices. <laughs> Even if she does grind up dead corpses, she's saving the people. Um, and what is everything other than just reworked, dead, fossilized things in the earth? So fine. It just means that less people will die of the plague. Oh, is that because I stood still too long? I thought, are we cut scening already? Um, <laughs> stay safe. Stay amazing. And I'll see you in the next part where we head to this moon with uh, some dodgy Gladys, the mass marketeer. <laughs> see you in the next video.